In this lesson, we're going to look at some problems involving the order of operations. Um, and so just as a quick review from what we learned in chapter one, uh, re remember that the first thing we'll do in any situation is uh, parentheses or any kind of grouping symbol at all. Second thing is exponents. Third thing is multiplication and division. And the fourth is addition and subtraction. And since we have uh, numbers three and four with multiple operations um, that are tied with one another, um, remember that the tiebreaker is to move left to right. Um, if you have, say, both multiplication and division happening, um, just move left to right. So uh, let's take a look at this first example here. Um, so uh, there is a set of parentheses, but notice this, the set of parentheses right here, there's nothing to do inside of it. It's just holding negative 4. So there's nothing to do there, so I can go ahead and move on to exponents. And so I go through and evaluate each of these exponents. So first of all, remember from our last video, there's no parentheses around this negative. It's not in parentheses with the 4. So this is going to be 4 squared, which is 16, with that negative just going along for the ride. This minus sign comes down. Now this time, this negative is in there with the 4, and so it's negative 4 squared, so that's literally negative 4 times negative 4. So that's going to be a positive 16. So this, this minus here is coming from that, and then this negative 4 became a positive 16 when it got squared. And then we're also going to drop this minus down, and then we're squaring positive 4, which gives us positive 16. And so remember, whenever we see minus signs, uh, we're going to turn them into plus signs by either saying subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite, or the nice little rhyme that we remember is cross the line, change the sign. Cross the line, change the sign. And so to clean this up a little bit, we end up with negative 16 plus negative 16 plus negative 16. And so since we're just adding negatives together, I can just add 16 to itself three times. Um, or you could take three times 16 if you'd like. So we end up with 48, but of course since they're all negative, the answer is negative 48. Looking at this other example here, uh, do remember that a big division bar um, is kind of like a, a grouping symbol in itself. It means you need to do everything on top and everything on bottom first and then at the very end divide. Uh, so on top, the first thing we need to do before worrying about those absolute value bars is to evaluate what's inside of them. So negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. And on bottom, the first thing I need to do is, well, we have multiplication, we have exponents, and we can see that exponents come first before multiplication. And so we'll take 2 times 3 squared, which is 9. Now on top, we need to take the absolute value of negative 18, which gives us 18. And then 2 times 9 is 18. And then finally, we know 18 divided by itself is just going to give us so that's our answer to this problem.